This is a 2015 German Mathematical Olympiad problem. Solve a system of equations for real solutions. Here is the idea. First, the left hand side of both equations are homogeneous cubic polynomials. And secondly, their right hand side are all constants. So we can eliminate the right hand side constant to come up with an equation of homogeneous polynomial equals zero. The problem can then be solved by factoring the polynomial. In order to eliminate the constant, we multiply the second equation by 5, then calculate the difference of the two equations. We have x cubed plus 9x squared y minus 5xy squared minus 5y cubed equals 0. Notice that the sum of the coefficient 1 9, negative 5, and negative 5 is 0. Then, when x equals y, the value of the polynomial is 0. In other words, x minus y is a factor of the polynomial. Then, we can proceed to factor it. We can separate 9x squared y into two terms negative 1x squared y and a positive 10x squared y. Also separate negative 5xy squared into two terms with coefficients negative 10 and positive 5. For each of the three groups, we do the factoring and we can see each of them contain a factor x minus y. So you can see the idea behind this is actually the long division. Take out x minus y, we have x minus y times x squared plus 10xy plus y squared. Therefore, we have x minus y times x squared plus 10xy plus 5y squared equals 0. There are two cases, either x minus y equals 0 or x squared plus 10xy plus 5y squared equals 0. This is the ice breaking step. Case 1, x minus y equals 0. We have x minus y equals 0 and also combine with one of the original equation x y squared plus y cubed equals 2. From the first equation, we have x equals y. Plug it in the second equation, x is replaced by y. So y times y squared plus y cubed equals 2. So 2y cubed equals 2, which means y equals 1. Therefore, both x and y equal 1. Case 2. x squared plus 10xy plus 5y squared equals 0. It ended up with a system of equations, one quadratic, one cubic. We can solve the quadratic equation for x in terms of y. Of course, we can use quadratic formula or just use completing the square, like what I'm doing here. x squared plus 10xy plus 5y squared equals x squared plus 10xy plus 25y squared minus 20y squared. The first three terms is a perfect square, x plus 5y squared minus 20y squared. The difference of two squares equals 
the sum of the x plus 5y plus square root of 20y times x plus 5y minus square root of 20 times y. Combine the like terms according to y. Then one of the factors has to be zero and solve for x in terms of y we have x equals negative 5 plus or minus 2 times root 5 times y. In the cubic equation, x in terms of y, so all x is replaced by negative 5 plus or minus 2 times root 5 times y. Simplified, we have positive negative 2 times root 5. Negative 5 positive 1, that's negative 4 times y cubed equals 2. Divided by 2 from both sides, we have positive negative root 5 minus 2 times y cubed equals 1. Multiply positive negative root 5 plus 2 on both sides. We have the positive negative root 5 plus 2 times positive root negative root 5 minus 2 times y cubed equals positive negative root 5 plus 2. Look at the left hand side. We have a number plus a number times a number minus the other number. So it is positive negative root 5 squared minus 2 squared times y cubed equals positive negative root 5 plus 2. The coefficient of y cubed is simply 1, 5 minus 4. So y cubed equals positive negative root 5 plus 2. Therefore, y equals cubic root of 2 plus or minus root 5. We are almost done. The question remains is that can we simplify this embedded cubic root? The answer is yes. As a matter of fact, they can be simplified simultaneously. Let y1 and y2 be two cubic roots. We have y1 cubed plus y2 cubed equals 4. And y1 times y2 is a product of two cubic roots, which equals cubic roots of the product. Simplify it, we got y1 times y2 equals negative 1. Therefore, y1 and y2 satisfy a system of equation y1 cubed plus y2 cubed equals 4 and y1 times y2 equals negative 1. The left hand side of the first equation y1 cubed plus y2 cubed equals y1 plus y2 times y1 squared minus y1 y2 plus y2 squared. The second factor can be further rearranged as y1 plus y2 squared minus 3 times y1 y2. However, we know y1 times y2 equals negative 1. Plug it in. We have y1 plus y2 times y1 plus y2 squared plus 3. Therefore, the first equation becomes y1 plus y2 times y1 plus y2 squared plus 3 equals 4. Let's do a substitution. The t be y1 plus y2, we have t times t squared plus 3 equals 4, or t cubed plus 3t minus 4 equals 0. Again, 
the coefficient 1, positive 3, negative 4, sum up to 0. Therefore, t equals 1 is the root of this cubic equation. We can proceed to for long division, t cubed minus t squared plus t squared minus t plus 4t, that is 3t, and minus 4. Factor each of the three groups, they all contain a factor of t minus 1, take that out. We have t minus 1 times t squared plus t plus 4 equals 0. Two factors, t equals 1 is a root, the second part t squared plus t plus 4 equals 0 has no real solution. So the only real root is t equals 1. We know t is y1 plus y2, therefore y1 plus y2 equals 1. We already know y1 times y2 equals negative 1. From Vieta's formula, we know y1 and y2 are roots of the quadratic equation y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, y1 and y2 are 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And finally, we have three pairs of solution of the original system of equations. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscription of my channel. I appreciate it.